Hi everyone and welcome to this second episode of the Getting Funded podcast. My name is Steve Livingston and this is a podcast that's aimed at companies in the UK who are startups or fast growth companies looking to raise funding under the Seed Enterprise Investment Scheme and or the Enterprise Investment Scheme. In the first episode we covered uh, SAS in a nutshell and in the second episode we're going to cover why should SAS matter for my startup. So just a bit of background before we, we dive into that. Uh, what we're trying to do here is just put forward um, a short, lots of short snippets, short podcasts um, outlining the sort of questions we're getting answered, asked on a daily basis uh, around the, the issues, problems, things to consider, tips, ideas around the Seed Enterprise Investment Scheme and, invest, and Enterprise Investment Scheme. They are, uh, although they're aimed at startups, these reliefs can be quite complex in parts. So we're trying to sort of put them into bite-sized chunks so as not to overwhelm you. So sort of a kind of five to seven minute short bursts. You should hopefully find uh, what you need in terms of the questions that you may well be asking yourself. There may be other things you hadn't maybe thought of, so it might be a good idea to run through all of them. Probably the easiest way to do that is to subscribe via iTunes. Um, and then if you could leave us a rating as well, that'd be great because it then helps other people find this podcast. Because the idea here is to try and get this into as many hands as possible, um, as cheaply and efficiently as possible. Um, because it's all about trying to help UK startups um, get the funding they need. And if this can answer the questions and allow you to get going, all the better. I should say at this point, you know, this... This isn't a substitute for professional advice. Uh, you know, if you have got complex factors, then you may well need to seek specific professional advice. But for those of you with more straightforward affairs, this may be enough. This series of podcasts to help you get going. Um, in terms of finding, uh, if you, some of you prefer more you know, visual, we do have some slides on this, and you can see these uh, on YouTube at the Getting Funded podcast channel. You should be able to subscri subscribe there again and watch them as well. So diving into this uh, second episode, why should SAS matter for my startup? Uh, very, very briefly here again, uh, I like the first one. I mean, the first point here is because as many investors will insist upon it. It's becoming more and more prevalent. SAS came into effect in 2012 and it's becoming more of an ex expected part of the process in terms of raising funding for early stage companies. Uh, every investor, every individual, you, me, everybody has a £100,000 sort of allowance, if you like. Um, that's how much we're allowed to invest in seed, under Seed Enterprise Investment Scheme in any one tax year. So tax years in the UK run to the 5th of April um, every year and that gets topped up at the moment to £100,000. So many investors, high net worth individuals, business angels will be looking to use up their £100,000 allowance every year, which is good news for you guys as startups, entrepreneurs and founders. So people are looking to, to use these allowances because the, the tax benefits are so great. Um, and in terms of tax benefits, you know, we, we mentioned, um, we will cover in more detail certainly in, in future episodes, but it's a 50% income tax relief as just one element of the overall tax benefits under Seed Enterprise Investment Scheme. So, you know, if you think about £100,000, uh, it would only actually cost £50,000. It could make all the difference in terms of getting that funding over the line. It's just an extra feather in your cap. If you are a Seed Enterprise Investment Scheme approved company, then it helps you it helps you um just it, may, it might just be the factor that helps you get your funding over the line obviously you've got to have a great idea product service as well um, but it's just an extra benefit in your favor it could also help you get more um if you think about the fact that they are getting 50 percent income tax relief the investors they may have then more money to play with in terms of investing so you know let's it, although it kind of benefits the investors directly don't forget that um, it it's something that could well uh, entice them um, to, to give you more than you might otherwise have received from them if it wasn't for this tax relief. And it's gaining in popularity. I mean, this is the key. Um, it's something that many, many investors will uh, expect to see in place. Um, so if you've got it, great. If you haven't, there's a danger that you're going to fall behind other companies when you're out doing the rounds looking to raise funding. If those, if, uh, if you, some of your kind of competitive companies, if you like, are SAS approved, and we'll come on to how you can look at that in, in future episodes, and you're not, then that could work against you potentially in helping you get the funding that you need from investors. So those are the sort of key factors to consider in terms of why it might well matter to your startup. Um, I don't think you can ignore it today. 
it's so prevalent, it's so popular, gaining popularity, and all the kind of um, sort of seasoned investors are all over this and would expect it to be in place. So not one to be ignored. Um, and hopefully these series of podcasts and video tutorials will help you get on top of it. This episode was brought to you by IP Tax Solutions, specialists in helping smart companies across the UK access and maximise government tax incentives such as r tax credits and the patent box, as well as SCIS and EIS. The patent box is an attractive UK tax incentive, in fact so attractive that it was recently challenged by EU member states. It can halve the corporation tax paid on worldwide profits derived from qualifying patents. We expect to see some changes to the patent box government tax incentive from 2016, but either way, if you have patents granted or pending, then this could be an attractive source of additional funding for your company. Contact us at IP Tax Solutions to learn more. Visit our website at iptaxsolutions.co.uk, call us on 0161 961 0096 or send us an email at info at iptaxsolutions.co.uk.